Hello, everybody. So today we have a very, very special guest, Ayako Yokogawa. Welcome to the show. Hi, Ken. Thanks for having me. So、uh, this is actually the first <laughs> time that we talk in English, but、uh, yes. oh, even in <laughs> even in Japanese for that matter. But、uh, it's good to see you here. So tell me or tell us about yourself and also about your recent、uh, program that you started、uh, speaking to audience in English with guests, guests, and yeah. Ah, okay.、Uh, I'm Aya Koyokogawa, but、uh, people call me Aya for short.、Sure. And、uh, I'm an English teacher, teaching mainly、uh, younger people, like、uh, people in their late teens.、Um, I've been teaching classes at two universities and one language school. I occasionally hold seminar to、uh, publicly, and I recently published books. So.、Um, These days, I really I'm really into writing English learning materials, and I also、uh, consider myself as a devoted English learner for long. Basically, I learn English within the country.、Uh, I didn't have opportunity to study the language、uh, abroad, so learning English is my、uh, lifelong dream or li- lifelong passion to pursue. And、uh, recently, I、uh, started airing the program,、uh, internet radio program called Ayers English Hours.、Uh, I'm a friend of Mr. Masaya Kanzaki.、Uh, I work at the same university as he does, so we've known for like、uh, four or five years. And this,、uh, recently, he invited me to be on his show, the internet radio show. And、uh, Masaya and my friend and I had opportunity to、uh, speak English on the radio、uh, on the topic that we never dreamed of talking about, the Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I know nothing, almost nothing about Shakespeare, but Masaya really likes Shakespeare, and my friend、uh, was willing to talk about Shakespeare, even though he doesn't know much about about it. And、um, I was invited to, as a guest, to ask them questions, bombard them with questions about Shakespeare. And the program was、uh, was about a month ago, and I truly enjoyed、uh, speaking English on the radio for fun, not as a educational program. Like I just love chatting with my friends in English, and it needs no preparation, and I can just enjoy myself. And I can、uh, totally be engaged in conversation with my friends. I like. So then, okay, why not holding my own program? <laughs> so that's the very simple、um, reason that I started the program recently. That's awesome.、Uh, I have a lot of questions actually. So、uh, you、oh, seem、yes. to、uh, a little bit emphasize that、uh, you know you just chat casually, you know,、yes. on the internet,、mm-hmm. and. That's interesting because I kind of feel like it is very important to do so because many people think that oh we got I, we got to say something really important and we got to prepare、mm-hmm. for ten hours before I talk or something.、Like、that. <laughs> I never do that. <laughs> so what is the background there? Do you feel like、uh, just by making it more casual and maybe people are feel more comfortable and they may be willing to participate in your program that way or? Okay, thanks for putting it so nicely. <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, the main motive that I started my own program is to,、uh, is that I want to have fun. I want to enjoy s- chat, casual chatting with my friend, and、uh, I truly appreciate opportunities to speak English just for myself. Yeah. Because, as you may know, I'm an English teacher, so、uh, I speak English for my students. And in class, the students are、uh, the main part, and me speaking English is the second, or I'm the staff, or I should be behind the curtain. But I'm an English learner too, so I need to speak English for communication or for my pleasure. But.、Uh, Unfortunately, I don't have many opportunities to do so. So why not talking with my friends on on Skype and okay? Why not airing? 
<laughs> that's awesome. That's so time. great. Yeah. <laughs> and I think your students may be listening and uh, they'll be listening to you. And then for like a 60 minutes or so, they will be also thinking in English, right? And they、mm. may feel like, oh, I want to ask a question in English and stuff. So it, your forum provides opportunities for such things. I think that's great. So.、Um, yeah. You are. Primarily focusing on people who study English in Japan, and you yourself haven't really studied abroad. No, what, no、uh, almost not. But you, ha- you speak very good English, so ha- what are the tips for people who are doing this you know, pursuit of learning English domestically in Japan? How can we change your or our environment, English speaking, even when you live in Japan?、Uh, you can do so many things to. Changing the environment of your learning. Honestly, I started learning ABC at the age of 12, just as many other Japanese learners did or do. But since the onset of learning English, I, I've, I have a dream to be able to fluent in speaking English. Probably,、um, I, yeah, I've been having such d r e a m since. Day one of learning English. And、uh, at every occasion, I try to read any word, any sentence that I encounter aloud to get the feel of, to, to want to. I think it's because I wanted to experience that I am speaking English, even though I'm in Japan. Yeah. So I, I dream myself. I virtually living in the English speaking country and I'm speaking English with English speaking people. So I, don't, I didn't really、uh, force myself to read words and sentences aloud. I just want to、uh, produce the words and sentences in my own,、uh, from my own mouth. So、right. I think ondoku or reading Words and sentences aloud is just one way to、uh, obtain opportunities to practice speaking or, yes,、um, producing. Myself, I've been emphasizing the importance of、uh, making friends,、uh, native speaker friends, or whoever、yeah. speaks English from abroad.、Mm-hmm. And that's what I kind of did in college. And actually,、yeah. it was not very difficult to make friends in Japan because there are lots of Foreigners living in Japan and they、mm. live in Japan because、yeah. they are interested in meeting Japanese people or learning about、mm. Japanese culture. So, in a way, it's easier to make friends with them in Japan rather than, I mean, obviously outside. I guess so. I mean, you know, so you, in, in Japan, maybe、uh, like a, because those people living in Japan are self selected people who came to Japan to make friends. You know? I know what so, you mean. Yeah. So, how、uh, are you do, you, do you also encourage that kind of、uh, approach? Uh, approach of, uh, is that to、uh, try making friends、yeah. in, within the country?、Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, for, f- yeah, for some people, I think it's a very strong strategy. But I don't really think that every, pe- every learner learning English has some kind of guts <laughs> to、uh, go to the front and make friends with those people. So, I think it's ideal to make friends, to communicate、um, in English. But if you are not provided with such opportunities, there are so many things you do to your English.、Right. So, for example, uh, you, can, uh, uh, you can overlap the English, or you can shadow,、yeah. or you can do simultaneous、uh, translation training. And、uh, of course, you need real people. To communicate, but besides that, you have so many things you can create, or you can design so many learning opportunities to do on your own. That sounds good.、Um, you said that you are、uh, teaching young people and、yes. at the university level. What kind of changes are you seeing in your students as you help them and、um, guide them? I guess. Oh.、Uh, um... I teach,、uh, I teach mainly the test taking strategy classes like TOEFL or TOEIC, but I don't really ask them to solve questions much. Instead, I, try, I ask them to recite the listening scripts or I ask them to produce、uh, their own answers. And,、uh, I, 
uh, I try to try to make themselves aware of the logics behind the sentences and structures. So by doing so, the learners and students are uh, become aware of why they are doing this. I mean, why they are uh, preparing for TOEIC. So probably they, through th such settings, they they will know that they can even learn English or how to speak or how to write English. So uh, I'm not sure I'm putting it correctly, but uh, through uh, taking such classes, the learners probably are enlightened that they can learn English in so many different ways. Awesome. Finally, uh, tell us about your books that you oh. that you published. Yeah. What's the name, <laughs> titles, and of the book and. Uh, ah, yeah. okay. Um, at the end of last year, uh, 12 to, 2012 in December, uh, Shibuya Natsuko and I published a book called. トイックテストいきなり600点。トイックテストいきなり600点。ああ、オッケー。オッケー、オッケー。オンザカバーオブイトユーハブユーフォトエンドユーアイコンフォトスポットアイブシンイトビフォー。エグザクトリー。ああ